Speculations that the Attorney General of the Federation, Abubakar Malami, is plotting ways to save the suspended Deputy Commissioner of Police in charge of Intelligence Response Team, Abakiari, from facing criminal prosecution for the alleged money laundering have continued to swap. The former Super Cop was suspended last July and he is presently wanted in the United States for an alleged involvement in a $1.1 million scam alongside the internet fraudster. Ramon Abbas, also known as Hush Puppy. Abakiari is also facing eight counts of conspiracy, obstruction and dealing in cocaine and other related offenses at the Federal High Court Abuja. He is currently wanted in the US to stand trial for conspiracy to commit wire fraud, money laundering and identity theft. Abubakar Malami had earlier okayed a request for DCP Kiari to be extradited to the United States of America. To face trial over his alleged involvement with Hush Puppy. Weeks after the money laundering allegations were laid against Kiari and an investigative panel was set up to probe him after he was alleged of receiving 33 proceeds of crime, the Minister of Justice had stated that there was no evidence to show that money was laundered by the former Super Cop. The AGF had affirmed in January that the investigations carried out by the Special Investigation Panel held by late Deputy Inspector General of Police Joseph Ebunike, set up to probe Mr. Kiari's alleged links to Hush Puppy, had indicated the former IRT commander for money laundering. He had also advised the Inspector General of Police Usman Baba to further investigation, stating that the Prima Fasche case of money laundering had been established against Abba Kiari. That the exits Prima facie, case of conspiracy, collaboration, receipt, conversion, transfer or retention of proceeds by unlawful activities contrary to the provision of sections 15, 17 and 18 of Money Laundering Act 2004 and section 17 of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission Act, Cap E, Laws of the Federation of Nigeria 2004 against DCP Abakiari and other suspects in view of the overwhelming evidence showing the nature of his disguised financial transactions and activities with Abbas Hush Puppy, Efer Martins, Usman Ibrahim Raziri, Shikuru Adekoya, Usani Allah, and Sharon Festus, who are all confirmed members of an international internet fraud network. The Minister of Justice, in a letter dated 4th of February 2022, written by his Director of Public Prosecution, Abubakar Mohamed, seemingly contradicted himself as he sought to exonerate the embattled police officer after stating there's no link between Abakari and Hush Puppy. I am directed to inform you that after a careful study of the said response, wherein you stated that the monies have been traced to Zenith Bank account number 22554161115 belonging to Usman Ibrahim Raziri, Guarantee Trust Bank account number 01306653392 belonging to Adekoya Shikuru, Zenith Bank account number 20805375566 belonging to Hussein Allah and other funds went to Sharon Festus. The monies were redrawn and utilized by the aforementioned account holders and the lady. It is our view that the above response has not linked the suspect DCP Abakiari to the offense of money laundering as the evidence contained in the case diary is not sufficient to indicate or show that the said monies were laundered directly or indirectly by Kiari to disguise their origin. More so, the aforementioned recipients or receivers exonerated him in their statements as having nothing to do with the monies. But the AGF's office has been swift in its pushback of reports it is trying to protect Mr. Kiari. A statement by Mr. Malami's media aide, Umar Gwandu, suggests his boss position had been misunderstood. It was a case of work in progress in respect of which the office of the Attorney General of the Federation requested for further prop in relation to some aspects of the investigation. The Office of the Attorney General of the Federation and Minister of Justice stands is that no conclusion has been reached in the direction of the absence of evidence relating to the first report. The issues were raised for further investigation with view to cover the field in the investigation in order to arrive at an informed decision. Also, the DPP stated that the ministry did not say there was no evidence of money laundering against Kiari, but that the police failed to probe the gap identified in their investigation. 
We said in the absence of the evidence, further investigation is needed and they should go ahead to try him on the administrative offenses they have identified. We said they should establish linkages, the money trail. Instead of them to go and investigate further the gaps we identified, they didn't. They just wrote back to say, check paragraphs so and so. We are saying no, these paragraphs did not sufficiently establish the things we say you should establish. In the midst of all this, Mr. Carey's brother was indicted. A sum of 279.120 million naira was said to have been sent to his bank account at various times from the Cybercrime Syndicate members, but the panel has failed to invite him for interrogation.